In order to graph problem 6, which is 6x plus 6y equals negative 3 and negative 6 minus 6y equals positive 3, the first thing we have to do is we have to solve these equations for y. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the first one. So 6x plus 6y equals negative 3. I'm going to draw my line and label my sides. I want y's on one side and everything else on the other. So that means that this y here isn't moving, but all of this stuff needs to move. The first thing we move is this 6x. So when we move the 6x to the other side, this is really simple, we're going to move it over here. On this side it's positive, so on the right side it's going to be a negative. So it's gone. So I now have 6y equals negative 3 minus 6x. To get rid of the 6 that's in front of y, all I have to do is divide. So I'm going to divide everything by 6. I get y equals negative 3 over 6 is going to be negative 1 half, and a negative 6 over 6 is going to be a negative 1x. Well, now I need to graph this. So my y-intercept, remember, is the number by itself. Notice it's not over here what's on the end, because what's on the end has x with it, so that makes it our slope. So we're going to plot the point negative 1 half, which is going to be here between 0 and negative 1. And my slope is this negative 1. So that's negative 1 over 1. The negative 1 tells me to go down. The positive 1 tells me to go right. So I need to start from here. And notice this is our, these are whole numbers. This is at a half. So I need to take a whole step down and a whole step over. So I'm still going to be in the middle of my line. I'm going to take a whole step down and a whole step over, and a whole step down and a whole step over, and another whole step down and another whole step over. And then I could do the opposite. I could also go up and left. So starting back here at the, the y-intercept, I'm going to go up a whole step and over a whole a whole step and up and over and that's where my points are going to be. So I'm still in the middle. So up and over a hole and a hole. And there's my first line. I'm going to redraw that line in green because that was what color I wrote my first equation in. So there's my first line. So then I've got to do the same thing with my second line. So my second equation was my negative 6x minus 6y equals negative 3. So I'm going to draw my line. Label my sides. Again, y is on one side, everything else on the other. So the first thing that's out of place is this negative 6x over here. So I'm going to move this negative 6x to the other side. And if it's negative on the left, it's going to be positive on the right. And then it's gone. So I have a negative 6y equals 3 plus 6x. And to get x by itself, I need to divide everything by negative to get y by itself, I'm sorry, I need to divide everything by negative 6. So these cancel, I get y equals a 3 divided by a negative 6 is a negative 1 half, and a, negative, a positive 6 divided by a negative 6 is a negative 1 x. So by now you may have noticed that these two equations are exactly the same. So if the equations are the same, so this, and this are the same. If these equations are the same, then that means their graphs are also going to be the same. So they're going to have the same graphs. So if they have the same graph, that's going to be two lines that are directly on top of each other because they have the same slope and the same y-intercept. So the answer to this particular system of equations is going to be all real numbers. Or you could also say that it's infinitely many solutions. So either all real numbers or infinitely many solutions. Both answers mean the same thing.